This is a quick look at the Chaz Fox Hanami Dango green tactile switches. All right, jumping straight into things. These are the Chaz Fox Hanami Dango green tactile switches. They are manufactured by JWIC or JWK if you will. They are a full body nylon switch. They have a 67 gram spring. They are factory lubed. They are five pin out of the box. However, you can cut them to three pin. They also come with an RGB light diffuser, which can be removed without opening up the switch. Next, we'll go ahead and open up the switch to take a look inside. Starting with the stem, this is a 13.45 millimeter long pole palm stem. Next will be your top housing. This is a nylon lime green top housing with an RGB light diffuser. If you remove the light diffuser, you can simply slide it out the top like so. You can also do this with a switch still intact and complete. And if you want to put it back in, you simply just slide it back into the slot. No tools required. Next will be your spring. This is a 20 millimeter extended gold plated 67 gram spring. And lastly, your bottom housing, which again, we return to the nylon bottom housing that's in lime green. Now we're going to go ahead and load these in the Bakken Echo. And one thing I did notice that they go in pretty smoothly. They're almost like butter. I know some switches I fought before getting them in the plate, but these ones go in and out extremely easily. And I really like to see that. They're not too loose where they don't feel secure, but their tolerances are nice enough to where they go in nice and clean and easy. All right, keycaps are on. We're using EPBT keycaps on a Bakken Echo 60. It's completely stock. All sound dampening has been removed, so we can have a full stock out of the box experience. So with that done, let's have a listen. All right, so let's talk about them. The first thing I would say, I noticed a little bit of leaf tick, but honestly, I think you could fix that with a little bit more lube or a little more love on these switches. Second is the factory pre-lube is really minimal and some of the switches didn't seem to be pre-lubed at all. With that said, they did feel smooth out of the box and I didn't notice very much scratchiness, but I would definitely recommend lubing these. However, I did really enjoy the switches. At 67 grams, they had a really heavy tactile feel and it's been on my alley lately. Also, the bottom out wasn't harsh, it was really smooth, which I enjoyed. Also, at 50 cents a switch, they're right at the top of the range I would pay for them, but nothing really over that. They are on the pricier side. With the other options being a little bit more cheaper, I would definitely recommend doing your homework. But for these, right now, definitely enjoying them. So overall, these get a pass in my book. And if you made it this far, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you could drop a like and hit subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And if you want to check out these switches for yourself, They'll be featured in the description box below. And that's it, the end. Thank you for watching and keep keyboarding.